Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I thought I would do a quick book review for you guys. Um, so today I'm going to review the post both Post Birthday World by Lionel Shriver. Um, I read this back in February of this year and I would have talked about it in my February wrap up as well, um, but I thought I would do an actual full review for you. So this book was originally published in 2007. Um, this edition was published in 2008 by Harper Perennial and it is 517 pages long. And there is also a author autobiography as well as an interview with the author at the end of the book, which if you're reading it for a book club is a really nice edition. So Shriver has written um, a lot of, quite a few books. Um, this is the only one of hers that I have read, but I do also own a copy of We Need to Talk About Kevin, which is probably one of her uh, well, most well-known works. Um, it's also been made into a movie starring Tilda Swinton, um, and I will read that eventually. I did like her writing enough to continue reading her stuff, so I will read that one at some point as well. So this book follows um, Irina McGovern, who is an, Amer an American illustrator for children's books, um, and she's settled in London with her long-term boyfriend, Lawrence. Um, and in the first chapter, we're introduced to Irina um, and Lawrence as a couple. Um, they kind of seem a little bit stuck in a rut. Um, they follow the same routine kind of day in and day out. Their sex life is rather unexciting, um, but generally they seem happy as a couple. Um, and then they also have an annual dinner with um, one of their friends, uh, Ramsey Acton, who is a famous snooker player. So every year they go out for dinner on his birthday. Um, Lawrence is a huge fan of Ramsey's. Irina um, doesn't really have particularly strong feelings about him either way, um, but she doesn't mind going out for dinner with him every year. Later in the chapter, uh, this is several years after they've kind of established this um, dinner relationship with Ramsey. Um, Lawrence is on a way away on a business trip and Irina uh, decides to go on the birthday dinner with Ramsey alone. So it's just the two of them. Um, so because they're kind of given this chance to talk and really get to know each other, Irina finds herself um, starting to develop feelings over the night for Ramsey or at least she's finding herself very sexually attracted to him. Um, and then at the end of the first chapter, Irina finds herself in the position at the end of this night, um, at the end of this dinner together, she finds herself in the position um, where she can either make the decision to act on her attraction to Ramsey or to go home alone. So after the first chapter, the book is laid out in a really interesting way. I don't know that I've ever read something laid out in this particular way before. Um, so each chapter has two versions. So there's two chapter twos, two chapter threes, and so on. Um, and each version follows a different world post-birthday dinner. So in one world, Irina has acted on her um, attractions to Ramsey, and she kisses him and decides to start an affair with him. And in the other world, she doesn't act on those attractions, and she goes home um, to be with Lawrence. She goes home alone, and she's with Lawrence for the rest of the book. So I thought the premise and the layout of this book was extremely interesting. Um, Shriver does a really good job of examining two very different types of romantic relationships. Um, she highlights the pros and cons of both relationships really well, um, and she does a really good job of kind of showing the way that um, our personalities or the way we can act can change depending on um, the kind of person we're with or the kind of relationship we have with somebody. So with Lawrence, Irina is very safe, it's familiar, uh, but because of the way they've kind of fallen into a rut, they're having int intimacy issues and they don't really talk about their problems and or discuss the way they feel with one another. Um, so it kind of leads to their relationship deteriorate, deteriorating in both scenarios, whether she acts on the affair with Ramsey or not. Um, with Irina's relationship with Ramsey, it's um, very heated, very passionate, often volatile, um, and she also feels that um, just kind of overwhelmed by his personality and presence and her desire for him, that she kind of loses who she is in the relationship. Um, so I don't want to go into too much more as to what happens, um, so that's pretty much the first chapter and just the way the relationships develop a little bit between Irina and both men. Um, but like I said, I don't want to give away too many spoilers. Um, so I'll just talk about 
um, how I felt about the book and the writing in particular. Um, so overall, I really enjoyed reading the book. Um, Schreiber is a very talented writer. Um, she writes relationships very well and human emotions she writes very well as well. Um, so I was very much caught up in Irina's feelings for both men. Um, her de uh, Shriver's depictions of Irina's happiness, loneliness, lust, longing, grief, and desire were all super realistic and relatable, and all the characters I thought were very well developed. My main issue with the way the book was written um, was that the chapters became a bit predictable. Um, so if a character does one thing in one world, you can expect the exact opposite to happen in the other world. Um, so for example, um, if Irina wins a literary prize in one world, she won't win it in the other. Or if Ramsay wins a snooker championship in one world, he won't win it in the other. Um, granted, like those examples are pretty, they're not necessarily important to the overall plot. Um, but that kind of secondary stuff, it did get repetitive. And I also didn't completely buy into the idea that Irina's uh, decision to either have an affair or not would affect her life and the lives of the other characters exactly in opposite and opposing ways. Um, but that said, the predictability didn't necessarily take away from my enjoyment of the book. Um, the life events that were mirrored in the chapters outside of the relationships were kind of secondary to me. I was more interested in um, the way their relationships developed. Um, so that wasn't a huge issue, but it did make it a little bit predictable. I was much more interested in how Irina's relationship with Lawrence deteriorated no matter um, which decision she made. And um, I could never decide like which relationship I was rooting for more. I found myself um, rooting for both men and the relationships um, in both scenarios. They both had their good and bad. So in the end, I gave this book about four and a half out of five stars and I would highly recommend it. It's a really good uh, examination of romantic relationships and it deals with romantic scenarios without falling into the romance genre too much. Um, like I don't read and I don't particularly enjoy reading a lot of romance um, but I don't mind some romance in my literary novels. Um, so if you're like me and you don't usually go into the romance genre um, don't let the fact that this deals with romantic relationships turn you off from reading it. Um, it is quite enjoyable and it's more an examination of psychology and relationships, I would say, than the actual romance aspect of it. Um, that said, do be aware that there is um, quite a bit of sex and, sex and sexual content as well as some vulgar language, so if you're not comfortable reading that kind of thing, you might want to steer clear of this one. But overall, it's really enjoyable, a great read, and I would highly recommend it. Uh, so let me know if you've read any of Lionel Shriver's works or if you've read The Post-Birthday World and what you thought of it, and if you have any rec other recommendations by her. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!